Greetings everybody, Nikki Brown here, no matter where you are and what part of the world you are in. I hope that you are having a good day. Grand rising, although it's a little after 12 o'clock, it's probably about 12, 15, sitting, something like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, the last couple days I've had two dreams. I need to, I, I need to figure the dreams out. I'm still working on those. But then I was on my little Kim that's this morning. <laughs> My little kid and Mary. So I was listening to um, I Can Love You, but I really wanted to listen to the little Kim part, but I had to listen to the whole song because you know it's Mary. But <clears throat> you know what she say, who you love and who you want to be hugging. <laughs> I was on my rap stuff today. Then right after that, um, Crush Who You came on. So I was like, oh, I know you sent me on the video. True. <laughs> I had to listen to that one too. Then, um, Floetry, it's getting late. Why you gotta be here? That and, um, when we collide. I think this gonna be a love song day. <laughs> I'm in a love reading. <laughs> Cause of you, I'm a bear, I'm a heritage, bit trillions, burying, billions, bitly coops, millions. <laughs> For those of you who don't listen to Mary J. Blige or Little Kim, that's her that's Little Kim's um, verse <laughs> in the song. Um, what's the name of the song again? I Can Love You, featuring Lil' Kim. It's, it's an R&B song, but there's a rap part in it. Alright, so let's cut the cards. <clears throat> when we come let's see what comes out today, All right, what we got? What do we have today? Who coming out first? What's coming out first? What is gonna come out first, y'all? Something tried to jump out. What was it? I wonder. Oh, justice! Ooh, 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 ooh! What that is? Judgment in the reverse. So somebody's stuck spiritually. Um, they have no remorse. They've done something they had no business doing. And they don't feel bad about it. They are not evaluating themselves. They're avoiding doing that self-healing work. And they're, they're pushing down or burying the, um, the guilt or shame. So... Um, this person is probably overweight and their solar plexus chakra is probably blocked. Um, also, their root chakra. I feel like, because you see the kids in the picture and it's in the reverse. So, like, it's like the kids are on top. So, this person has some inner child healing to do and they've been avoiding it. And because I see the color red, that's why I said um, the root chakra is probably blocked too. And then the yellow is the solar plexus chakra. So I feel like um, this person got work to do. They got work to do. <coughs> um, also, the judgment card is ruled by the planet Pluto. Um, so you might want to see what's going on with Pluto right now um, in the universe. Um, it's also the sign of Scorpio, so this could be a Scorpio going through this or some other water sign because then we have it followed by the King of Cups, um, which is also water sign energy, right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, cups usually represent emotion, um, but the King of Cups in the upright is usually emotionally mature and balanced. 
Um, he's able to tolerate people's differences without judging or criticizing them. He's usually kind-hearted. Um, a great father. Um, has good people skills. Um, and, and a very creative leader. So, um, you know, you see all the colors. You see he's like sitting in water. And then all the colors, that's like, you know representing creativity the green socks the the aqua robe the gold the red there's some blue in there because if you look at both sleeves they're two different colors two different shades right um this could be somebody who has good relationships um and they are tapped into their spiritual or intuitive side. This is a great leader, somebody who's very responsible and accountable for their actions and very capable of carrying out anything that they start. They have structure and order, balance, right? All those things. Um, that judgment in reverse could be karma <clears throat> and <clears throat> somebody really being tested here to step up to the plate and again Heal that they're in a child and do whatever they need to do to get to the next level. And this person is not doing it. Um, Ace of Cups and Six of Wands. Ace of Cups in the upright. Six of Wands in the reverse. Why am I still shuffling? <laughs> I think I got distracted for a minute. Kings are also intelligent, and just in general, so the king of cups is one thing, but then kings in general are usually air signs. Nine of cups came out in the reverse. Um, so, hmm. Because this judgment card is out here, Somebody may have a king of cups in their life, male or female, but they're not getting a nine of cups because it came up in the reverse because they're not doing the work that they, they need to do. And they're not satisfied with themselves or this connection. They feel like it's an unfulfilled connection. Um... And again, they're just not satisfied with it. Either that or maybe this King of Cups invited them to an event and they didn't want to go because they felt like it wouldn't be worth their time. Um, but it's based basically based on something that happened in the past and it really doesn't have anything to do with what's going on right now. But because this person still has... Um, inner childhood trauma that they're avoiding healing from um, they're showing up as this nine of cups in the reverse they're not using their intuition because it's probably blocked because that soul plexus is probably show. yeah this person is all in their head <clears throat> um, they feel attacked and betrayed um they probably got some bad news and it, it really broke them down. Um, they didn't know how to communicate effectively. Their belief system is off. 
their thought their, their thoughts they're just all, they're, they're all over the place and the swords is air energy so you know this person's all in their head they made the wrong decision they did something that didn't serve a purpose in their life a good purpose in their life or anyone else's um, and it's time for them to get over it and look forward and make a right the right choice because they they haven't been making the right choices okay two of wands is all about choices and you see he's holding that wand looking forward looking over you know the land and the water you know his abundance and prosperity he knows it's coming he or she male or female um, and wands is fire um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or oh, this person needs to write a strategy and prepare to move forward and leave their comfort zone. But you know, it's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, putting that work in, and that's why a lot of people avoid it, and they just bury down the 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 pain and the worry or whatever it is and they sometimes pretend it doesn't have didn't happen or they just put it out push it out of their minds and bury it deeper and the deeper you bury it the sicker you're gonna get you know mentally physically because again I feel like the root chakra and the solar plexus chakra are blocked for this person four swords Um, so they have choices, <laughs> but they're sticking with that same old routine. They're doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And it's not, it's not serving a good purpose. It's not helping at all. And it's making them just lay in bed up all night, can't sleep, worry, because they don't want to do the work. Whoever this is, this, this, them, they just don't want to do the work. They need to take the time to recharge themselves um, and clear their mind and, and maybe even recover. You, um, If this is you, you might need to go on vacation. You may even need to go sit in the park, get some sun, go for a walk. Um, and prepare yourself for, you know, because it, it is challenging to do the healing work. Maybe you need to prepare yourself mentally for what is to come. So you can get ready for this internal battle. But you will achieve success and stability. You know, once you do it, you'll be able to communicate more effectively. Your intuition will be heightened. And you'll be able to discern who's who and what's what. But right now, you 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 ten of swords and four of swords in it, <laughs> all up in your head, like, whoa. Nobody's making you feel like this, but you. So I guess this isn't a love reading. Those songs were just in my head space. <laughs> who you loving? Who you wanna be hugging? Um, but again, that could be that King of Cups. So maybe this is this is masculine energy. Maybe you present yourself to the world as a King of Cups, but really, you're the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Swords. You're all in your head. You know that you may need to make a choice, but you're not making it, and you just. Staying up all night because you have choices, but you're not making a decision. The death card is here in the reverse. You're not thinking, you, your thoughts are negative. Again, uh, you, this is your judgment, right? You feel stuck, but it's all self-imposed because you won't make a choice. That's what's going on here. And you show up in the world as the King of Cups, 
fake, lying to yourself and lying to others. When really you're in nine of cups, you don't want to tell the truth to yourself or others. You're all in your head. You won't make a choice. It's stubborn, being stubborn. And you have choices in front of you that you're just basically in ignoring. Because you feel like you're stuck, but you're keeping yourself stuck. These are your thoughts. Your thoughts are becoming your things in your life. They're showing up in your life because that's what you're thinking. Right? Then you have the death card. You're thinking negatively and refusing to let go. You still got this other one behind you when you should have broken it in half and threw it in the trash. And just keep looking at the one forward that you have in your hand. But because you're not allowing yourself to make this choice, you're, you're, you're thinking negatively, right? And you refuse to let go. You're afraid. There's some fear there. But that fear is coming from your childhood issues. Your inner child needs to be healed. And if you... So this thing, it needs to come to an end. And as soon as you end it, you will have... You bring me joy when I'm down. You would have so much joy. I'm telling you. These cards might be done speaking. Oh. Three of Wands in reverse. <laughs> You're delaying yourself. You're causing yourself a set setback. You need to have trust and confidence and just ex and just expect the unexpected. Because if you don't if you don't take the proper action, it's gonna be taken for you. Seven of Pentacles, you feel like you're just working, 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 and you're not seeing any progress. These are your dreams. You're looking towards the future. You see that, you know, you feel like these crops are going to grow. But then at the same time, you have your doubts because you're stuck in your head. You've been putting all this time and effort and investing, and you feel like it's just taking a long time. But it does take time for a seed to grow. <laughs> you have to be patient with yourself. Stop beating yourself up. You know, some things do happen overnight for some people, but everything doesn't happen that way for everybody. Um, right now, I feel like you're dealing with a queen of swords in the reverse. This is usually an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And she may be, if you're a male or female, how, however it relates to you in your life, um, but again, I always say these swords can cut you, especially a queen. She might be cussing you out, talking down to you, being mean, maybe putting stuff in your food. But she's very callous and insensitive. Um, what they say, have a sharp tongue. Like I said, she might be cussing you out. Or at least talking down to you and not respecting you as the king that you are. Right? And she feels like you're stupid. Or that she can easily take advantage of you. And she wants you to prove everything that you do. He or she. Either you have a woman in your life doing this or a man in your life. They don't, they don't trust because they can't be trusted. Then you have that four wands in the reverse. This is your, this is supposed to be celebration. But it's this, you, you have a shaky foundation with this person. A king of cups don't have no business with a queen of swords in the reverse. You're very sensitive and she hardcore. Like little Kim. Okay. <laughs> Love little Kim though. But this B.I. is hardcore. <laughs> okay. 
B-I-B-I, why you acting like a punk, like a punk? That's probably what should be saying to you. You a punk, whatever the case may be. You ain't S-H-I-T. This, that, and the third. Eight of Pentacles. Um, so you do have some money. Or you may have the ability to make money. You're good with your hands. Um, and you're a fast learner. So she appreciates and respects you for that. But it's like she's only using you for that. But she'll downplay your accomplishments with this four of wands here. Because... Again, she doesn't trust herself. The high priestess is here. So you need to use your intuition and trust your inner voice. And your inner voice is telling you you need to make a choice. You know, figure out an exit strategy. Figure out how to get out of this situation. Figure out how to get over these thoughts in your head that are keeping you stuck and stagnant. Become very mysterious. Don't tell everybody everything. Everybody don't need to know everything. Um, High Priestess all, also represents Cancer and um, it's moon energy. But, you know, what's in the dark always comes to light. That's why you have these two pillars here. You see one is dark and one is light. And... The dark one comes first. So what's in the dark always comes to the light. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles. The Most High is giving you a gift. A whole pentacle. Right? Um, and you see all the abundance and prosperity. Right? The, the, green gra the green grass and the, the shrubs. The flowers. There's even a mountain back there. Mountains represent success. You see that peeking through? the arch so again if you make the right decision a new opportunity awaits you it's a gift from the most high it's a great gift you see that coming from the clouds that big it's a big old pentacle too <laughs> big coins okay some big coins so what are you gonna do Tell me what you're gonna do with my life I'm crazy about your smile and eyes What you're gonna do with my love Tell me now <laughs> Don't judge me heard that little crack in there. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm crazy about your smile. Alright, let's see if we can get one more. What's the overall message? What's the overall message to close out this part of the reading? It's up to you, baby Bill. These cars don't want to say nothing else. <laughs> they done. They said, mm mm. They good. Yeah, they good. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you may meet someone who's down to earth, um, who's stable financially, um, has a home. A great career or business um, who loves to be out in nature who's very resourceful who's mothering who likes to stay home and all of that a caring nurturing queen or empress Because queen means the king's whore, for those who don't know that. But I digress. I know some people, they're still stuck on that queen, though. 
They get mad for me telling the truth about that, honey. But Kandeki, Goddess. Those are alternative words. Uh, these do have the regular cards on the back. Let's see what we get here. <laughs> now this came up in the reverse, but I'm not going to do reversals for this one. But somebody's exposed for faking a spiritual funk. Somebody's a hypocrite. Somebody pretended to be very religious or spiritual. And they wanted the biggest hypocrites you probably know. And they have been exposed. <clears throat> lying. It's lying. Maybe all fake. They have an addiction. <laughs> and you are on the right path. So as long as you make that right choice. Um, during the full moon. I don't know if this means you need to move away or make an exit, plan an exit strategy during the full moon or if somebody did something during the full moon. Pisces. So this may have been a Pisces or somebody with Pisces in their chart. Could also be a Leo. Okay, I think these might be done talking. What was that? Sex magic. It popped in and out. Somebody may have done some sex magic on you during the full moon. Could have been a Leo or Pisces or somebody with Leo or Pisces in their chart. And they may have done it while you were sleeping. Sex is good and envious. So somebody may be envious of somebody and trying to do stuff during the full moon. Getting to know you, so somebody's getting to know you, or you're getting to know somebody. <laughs> I hope not on social media. You can't really, I don't know, that's really weird to me and kind of silly. Like, you get to know somebody by hanging out with them or communicating with them, not by watching them. Um, you know that this person is trustworthy or you're trustworthy. Um, you're not in love. Financially stable. So maybe you're getting to know this Queen of Pentacles, but you're not in love with her yet or him. But you see that this person is trustworthy and financially stable and you're getting to know this person. Uh, 
um, the truth is being revealed. Somebody was not loyal. These ain't loyal. Mm -hmm. This is your oracle message. Um, don't do it. Came up at the bottom. Let's see if we get something from these. out of your head oh and don't take it personal so when people do stuff you can't take it personal because it, it's it's something that they have going on that they're holding on to that they haven't healed from you are not the pappy so if somebody told you that if that queen of swords told you that your child was hers I feel like I am. I, I kind of said that in the beginning. I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine or at least um, someone who's more on their masculine side. Although you came up as the king of cups. I just saw self-love. What's that? Be careful. Oh. <laughs> wow. Get paid for it. Whatever your talent is, you need to be getting paid for it and not volunteering your time, maybe? I saw self-love twice. Um, I don't know if it's really trying to come out or not, but I think you need to love yourself. Somebody made a bet. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Um, this is not your pathway since it came up in the reverse. Um, somebody's hypersexual. You may need to reach out for help. Something was a setup. You may not have to go to court. Or maybe it wasn't a setup, it's in the reverse. Somebody may be trying to blackmail you. Um, you need to let go of the past. Baby came up in the reverse. Again, it's not yours. Someone's trying to block your pathway, but they can't. This is not a loving relationship. <clears throat> Somebody's going to jail for sexual assault. Fear and worry could become pro prophecy. So your thoughts become things. I want to sex you up. I am jealous of you. bridge Ooh. ouch <laughs> OMG alright I'm gonna stop playing 
That says Divine Feminine. I'm not getting ready to pick it up. Oh, you were too good for me, or you are too good for me. We're going to have to operate on the honor system today. I promise you it says Divine Feminine, but I'm not getting ready to bend down and pick that up. I just sent a whole spasm up my back. I'm not getting ready to bend down right now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, sugar foot. I wasn't the only one in week. Ah, there's something else underneath that. I wasn't the only one. So maybe somebody was cheating. Again, I'm not getting ready to pick those up. Sorry. Love y'all. Leader, you're a leader. <sighs> or maybe the person you're thinking about is a leader. It's not you, it's me all day. Do you mind if I stroke you up? Do you mind if I stroke you down? All through the night. Uneasy to accept. So somebody's having a hard time accepting something. Either about you or somebody's manipulative. that queen of swords the hotel came out in the reverse but I don't know this person might be cheating at the hotel or well, not at the hotel maybe they in the car getting it in you um making they one place and they something else someplace else even if you're dropping that person off, they don't stay at that location. They're going somewhere else and doing something and lying about what they're doing or what's going on up in there. Um, sexually free came in the reverse, so I don't know if that means you're ready for monogamy. I don't know. Or well, that person is that Queen of Swords may be sexually free. Um, my heart chakra is open. I know I was wrong. Past life regression. Maybe you need to have that done. Um, somebody's a motivator or influencer. Probably you. But you're not using that gift right now. And you need to get paid for it. That might be why that, that came out. I want you to wait for me. Didn't that come out already? I am not where I want to be financially, so that might be why you're holding on to this toxic situation because you feel like you're not where you need to be financially, but I think if you went towards that person, y'all can get, because this is a queen of pentacles, so y'all can get what you need together, so you need to stop being macho, macho, macho man, let go that ego and make that choice. Cause you're only hurting yourself and keeping yourself stuck and keeping yourself all up in your head thinking stinking thinking with that stinking thinking let go of that stinking thinking boo boo thing boo thing so you can get that ace of pentacle on them not me <laughs> All right, y'all. That's going to be it for right now. And if this message resonates and you want to let me know about it, I'll be more than happy to hear your story. Mm -hmm. Love y'all.